Hi everyone, this is Top3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about the CreateBot F160 Peak 3D Printer. Apart from examining the printer's package, its design and kinematics, we will also print a sample part using one of the most difficult materials for 3D printing, polyetherith Urcatone, or Peak for short. The CreateBot F160 Peak version features a pretty simple, conservative design. In other words, its construction is rather practical. While our printer is being preheated, let's have a look at its structure and hardware, as well as what's in the box. By the way, the machine comes with a special glue stick. Since Peak is considered a very tricky polymer as it is prone to warping and deformation, we're going to apply a layer of adhesive to the build surface before printing. The machine's housing has carrying handles at the top on both sides for easy relocation. At the bottom of the back panel, there is a USB Type B port for cable data transfer. Next to the USB port, you will find the power socket. The power supply unit is placed inside the body and the filament spool holder can be mounted onto the back panel. Now let's see what the printer has inside. The CreateBot F160 is equipped with a direct drive extruder. To the right, there is a radial fan that blows over a part if necessary. The printer features the HBOT kinematic scheme, the one that is used in the more advanced Peak 300 model. Two long belts are moved with two synchronized motors in a parallel circuit. The device is equipped with NEMA 17 stepper motors. Here you can also see a 1 cm wide MXL toothed belt. The construction uses cylindrical guide rods. Let's open the door and examine the arrangement and features of the heated build chamber and print bed. At the back of the chamber, you can see thick cylindrical Z-axis guides, a trapezoidal lead screw, and a heating element. The latter is able to quickly heat such a sizable space and maintain the temperature in spite of high heat loss occurring due to the absence of thermal insulation, which is normal for a 3D printer of this price category. As you can see, the axes feature mechanical end stops. The maximum temperature of the hot end is 420 degrees. It is equipped with a steel nozzle with a diameter of 0.4 millimeters. The printer's display interface should be familiar to CreateBot users. Let's set the preheat parameter for the filament feeding and subsequent printing with peak material. Note the quick response of the touchscreen. Meanwhile, we will check the supply package. Here we see a heating unit with a 0.4mm brass nozzle and a Teflon tube in the low temperature printing channel. There are also spare screws and springs for the extruder, a glue stick, 0.1mm probe for the build platform leveling, a set of Allen keys, Phillips screwdriver, pallet knife. Next comes an ordinary pin for unclogging the nozzles, USB cable, tweezers, a set of wrenches, filament spool holder, handles and door hinges, a spare end stop, thermostore, and a thermoelectric heater. Finally, there is a 16GB USB flash drive and a spare heat sink driver in a plastic box. The printer is supplied with a 1 kilo spool of PLA filament with a diameter of 1.75mm. We turn the chamber heating on and set the temperature of 70 degrees. The heat is felt instantly. The bottom of the front panel houses a USB Type-A socket for a flash drive. There's also a power button and LEDs indicating the heating mode and the presence of a USB drive in the slot. Now we move the build platform to the home position. The CreateBot F160 print bed is calibrated manually. Due to its compact size, which is 160 by 160 millimeters, bed leveling doesn't cause any difficulties. The heating element of the print bed is a plate, so the heating process is fast and even. On top of the print bed is a carbon fiber sheet with a glass plate underneath. You are free to choose the most appropriate surface type you are going to print on. So we apply the adhesive to the platform. Once the first layer is printed, the part will be held securely until the end of the process. From our experience, the glue stick included in the kit has much better adhesive properties compared to any other glue you can buy at a stationary store. The filament feeding mechanism is as follows. We decided not to install the standard holder for test printing. We just slightly loosen the side spring holding the filament and mechanically push the thread until it comes out of the nozzle, melted. When the process is complete, we tighten the spring as much as possible. Peak is a solid filament, so there's no need to worry about overpressing it. And to keep it from slipping in the gears, it has to be pressed properly. Let's check the extrusion with the help of the feeder, just to make sure we did everything right. We select the step and start the extrusion. Then we close the doors and wait for the device to heat up. In the meantime, let's get the print job ready. Choosing a model, we adjust the necessary settings and scale the model by slightly reducing its size to fit the build space. The previously saved extrusion width setting of 0.46mm is used. 
we set the flow parameter to 110%. This is a normal value for peak printing. We're going to print with a layer height of 0.2 millimeters at relatively low speed. The heating temperature is 420 degrees Celsius for the extruder and 160 degrees for the print bed. The infill density is 50%. It is possible to check the print visualization by layers. A raft will be an appropriate addition to our model. The final result will look like this. At the post-processing stage, we are going to bake it. Now we can save the file and start printing. The first thing to do is to select a USB drive in the touchscreen menu. Our file is called Matchbox, the format is G-Code. The build chamber has reached the necessary temperature. There's no need to heat it up any further. We can already feel the smell. It is strongly recommended to ensure proper ventilation when printing with such polymers. Before printing starts, the machine runs the special CreateBot algorithm. A large drop of molten plastic remains at the edge of the platform, thus preventing the occurrence of any debris on the build area. Now the print process is on, let's watch the first layers being built. The printing is over, it's time to check the result. The color variation shows that the part has not been cured evenly, but the overall geometry is fully preserved. The most important thing in peak printing is the proper interlayer adhesion, so we remove the part and examine it carefully. The raft has separated without our help. So here's the finished model. We can say that the printer did a great job. The adhesion between the layers is good, the part is solid and reliable. Considering the cost of the CreateBot F160, we can claim it one of the best affordable industrial-grade 3D printers, capable of printing with high-temp plastics like Peak and producing really working parts. This is Top 3D Shop with the CreateBot F160 Peak 3D Printer Review. Subscribe to our channel, leave comments, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!